Hi, this is Wayne Rivers at FBI, where we build better contractors. This week, I want to talk about seven qualities of credible people. You know, it just sounds so simple. How did, I mean, we just think about that. Gosh, am I credible? Oh, sure I am, no worries. But what does credible even mean? So credible is simply believable and trustworthy. Are you believable and trustworthy? If you are, you're a credible person. Uh, this comes from Leadership Now in uh, March of 23. Uh, and by the way, don't forget about our uh, Denver boot camp coming up in August of this year. Contact Charlotte for more information. Now, what about this is important to you? Well, golly, you can't be an effective leader unless you're <laughs> believable and trustworthy and therefore credible, right? So there's this annual study that comes out called the Edelman Trust Barometer. And the 2023 version came out. And, you know, some... The world is a rapidly changing place these days, no doubt. The only institution trusted globally is business, especially small business. Only. People don't trust the media. People don't trust Congress. People don't trust all kinds of professions. Business people are, are perceived to be credible, and that's the only cohort uh, that, that is, uh, receives that credibility uh, score worldwide. So Barry Posner has written a new book called Credibility, How Leaders Gain and Lose It. Um, and so he's got seven points on what constitutes credibility. The first thing is competence. Well, that, that makes sense, right? If you can't do your job, how can you be a credible leader? The thing about competence is that depending on the viewpoint of other parties, they evaluate credibility different. So if, if you're a manager and you have a boss, the boss generally evaluates your credibility based on your job performance. If you have people reporting to you, your direct reports view credibility differently. They view uh, credibility based on your communication skills. So the point is that credibility is defined differently depending on who's doing the defining, okay? Um, second thing, they keep their word. I mean, basic honesty has got to be a piece of it. But it's more than that. It's doing what you say you're going to do. Doing what you say you're going to do. So throwing away uh, these comments, I'm gonna, next week I'm gonna do this and next month we're gonna do that, with basically no capability of executing those intentions, that, that, is, that is a non-starter. The third thing, credible leaders hold themselves accountable and they hold other people accountable. And, and that's, that sounds harsh, doesn't it? Like, oh, the hammer's going to come down punishment. They hold people accountable in two ways, not just for things that they do wrong, but for things that people do right, right? So, so an appreciation, um, I heard somebody say, catch somebody doing something right instead of catch somebody doing something wrong. That makes a lot of sense in terms of building credibility in the organization. The fourth thing, they connect with others. They go beyond the golden rule, and I've heard speakers refer to this as the platinum rule. Don't do unto others as you like to be done. Do unto others as they want you to do. In other words, it goes beyond that because different personality types have different wishes for human contact and conversation and coming into the office uninvited. People are different and so deliver to people what they want delivered and you'll be more credible. The fifth thing is care. They, credible leaders genuinely care about other people's well-being and their best interests. Um, sixth thing, they're open to new ideas irrespective of where the ideas come from. So it's not always senior leaders with the greatest ideas, is it? Sometimes the greatest ideas bubble up from other parts of your organization. And the seventh thing, credible leaders know that when they screw up, they have to say so, and they have to take corrective action. Um, so I think that makes a lot of sense. They're self-aware, you might say. I remember being in a strategic coach class ages ago, and this has always stuck with me. Dan Sullivan had four simple things for being credible. And I think, I think this, this gets to Posner's book and also uh, the article that I read, but it was so simple. One, say please and thank you. Be polite to other people. Two, show up on time for everything. Don't make other people wait for you. Third thing, we've already said this, do what you say you're going to do. And the fourth thing, finish the things you start. I think Dan Sullivan is a genius, and I think he nailed it ages ago. If you do those four things, along with the other things that we discussed here, 
I think you'll be a credible leader. So what do you think? What, what constitutes credibility for you? What makes for a credible leader? Share with us in the comments. This is Wayne Rivers at FBI, where we build better contractors. Thank you.